Dear Graham Green, I'm writing to ask if you'd be interested in participating in a project for Arena. I know that you've refused to have a conventional documentary made about you before, but having just finished reading your autobiography, I was very taken by the story you tell about the man who's been roaming the world pretending to be you. Where have I gone to? Well, I had to go to Argentina for the human factor. I, I did that because he had done it. Everything he has done, I've tried to do. Russia, East Germany. And you ought to think of him not only as a novelist, you know, you ought to think of him as a very great traveler. Liberia, India, Vietnam. I have yet to go to Saigon. I haven't done it. Uh, that will come. That's a journey I have to take. Chile, Paraguay, Mexico. As if I re-entered his world, it was a, a, truly a C.D. Graham Greene experience. There I was, uh, uh, duplicating his experience, becoming him in the most extraordinary sense, and even to the point of getting dysentery. In that same place, he caught it and I caught it. Belize, Nicaragua, Panama. I knew that Panama, more even than Spain, had persistently haunted my imagination. So much that happened in Panama proved as unexpected as the events in a dream. The Republic was to me an unknown land, and my voyage there was a voyage of discovery. Next day, there was a small misunderstanding. A driver came to the hotel promptly at 10 and asked for Senor Green. Uh, Mr. Green, your car is here. After about 10 minutes, I became, I don't know why, suspicious of the route we were taking. I was right. It was the wrong car, and I was the wrong Mr. Green. Green has often come across this extraordinary anomaly that wherever he goes, he seems to find greens. He has an eye for these things. He's fascinated by doppelgangers, by duplications. That evening, I remember, the light was particularly beautiful. The white, hazy towers of Panama City shimmering across the sea were like an engraving of Paradise by John Martin. In bed, I reread The Heart of Darkness, as I had done last in 1958 in the Congo. He was just a word for me. I did not see the man in a name any more than you do. Do you see him? Do you see the story? Do you see anything? It seems to me I'm trying to tell you a dream, making a vain attempt because no relation of a dream can convey the dream sensation. That commingling of absurdity, surprise, and bewilderment in a tremor of struggling revolt. That notion of being captured by the incredible, which is of the very essence of dreams. Drake, he's in his hammock and a thousand mile away, 
captain out for sleeping there below. Drake is in his hammock and a thousand miles away. Captain of the sleeping there below. Some between the round shots in Nombre Dios Bay. And dreaming all the time of Plymouth Hall. Yonder looms the island, yonder lie the ships. It was in Portobello Bay that Drake's body was buried. Portobello is fantastically beautiful. Little seems altered since Drake's day, when the town stood at the end of the gold route from Panama City. Is still the treasure house where the gold waited shipment to Spain. The ramparts lined now with vultures.